Just Jamie Booth with a quick look at your hyperlocal forecast. As we go throughout this evening into tonight, partly cloudy skies. It will remain windy. Temperatures in the mid to upper teens north of the Merritt. Low 20s right along the coast, but with those winds, it'll feel like the single digits. Tomorrow, mostly sunny but cold. Winds slowly diminishing. Low to mid 30s throughout the area. Wednesday, we're mostly sunny and we're looking good. Nice and pleasant with a high near 40 degrees. I'll have your full seven-day forecast coming up. Hi there, I'm Fred Gertany. The girls basketball team at Laurelton Hall is having another stellar season. And one of the biggest reasons for their success has been the play of senior guard Molly Yardley. Not only is she one of the best players in the state, she's also an A student and will soon be serving her country. Here's Molly Yardley, our News 12 Connecticut Webster Bank Scholar Athlete. They don't hand out McDonald's All-American nominations to just any player. But Molly Yardley isn't just any player. You know, I come into the gym and it's my happy place and I love being with my team and just um, all the fun that we have together is really something special. And She's been everything from the second she came here till, uh, you know, till tonight, till the end of the year. She's, uh, she's quite a kid. Within the confines of this historic Catholic institution, Molly has learned the value of faith, charity, and service. She'll attend West Point this fall. And Laurelton does such a great job of producing young women that are really concerned about others and have the compassion and mercy to go out in the world and, you know, make their mark. And Molly hasn't just made her mark on the hardwood. She's also a top flight student. You know, work hard in school and work hard in the court and really relax and have fun. And I think it's really just about striking the balance and um, realizing that you can't be perfect at everything. <laughs> so. And now Molly is answering to a much higher calling. It, it, it's not a novel, but just in, in simple words, she's going to serve our country. I mean, that's just, that's Molly. Mm -hmm. There's an old expression, there's uh, strong and then there's army strong. Are you army strong? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Uh -huh. <laughs> And with kids like Molly Yardley protecting us, I think we're all in pretty good shape. Hockey, the Sound Tigers are having one of their best seasons in years. Off until Wednesday, Bridgeport is still relishing Sunday's big win over Portland. Players were pumped as they entered the ice at the arena. First period action. Good four checking by the Tigers results in this. Pascal Morenci gets his first goal of the season. 1-0 Sound Tigers. Still in the first and Mike Eagleden. Gets his stick on the puck just in front of the crease, and the Sound Tigers are up two to nothing. Then late in the period, Sound Tigers on a rush, and Trevor Smith with a gorgeous feed to Ben Walter. Walter's 13th goal of the season. This one all Bridgeport. Finally, Tom Rennie has been fired as coach of the New York Rangers, along with assistant coach Perry Pern. No replacement has been named, although uh, John Tortorella, the former coach at Tampa Bay, is considered the front runner. All right. Thanks, Fred. Sure. Time now for a quick check of our, the latest on some of our local stories here on News 12 Connecticut. Investigators in Wilton say they do not suspect arson in the fire that took the lives of two special needs residents at a local condominium complex over the weekend. Restaurant owners in downtown Stanford are hoping the lower prices of the annual restaurant weeks, along with discount movie passes, will reinvigorate the dining out scene, which they say has taken a hit over the last few months.